Hello, my name is Charlie Thomas. I work with Campbell CV in Minnetonka, Minnesota. Today we'll be demonstrating the proper use and the reason for having a vacuum breaker in a steam system. So the way this is piped in, we've got boiler pressure steam here. You can see on the gauge about uh, 10 PSI or a little more, uh, a control valve. We actually put a gauge downstream of the control valve, which is fairly rare, um, but just so you can see the pressure inside our coil. From here, it's piped into the top of the coil. Here's our coil itself inside an air handler box with a fan, uh, which I'll turn on in a bit. We've got a condensate header here, which comes down to our condensate connection. Goes down, we've got a dirt pocket here, our primary steam trap here, and then it goes to a, a, a check valve. From there, it goes to our atmospheric condensate return system. So if we turn the fan on, this is how the coil would operate on design day. We've got our control valve wide open. We've got a little bit of uh, differential pressure across the control valve. Uh, but mostly we've got plenty of uh, differential pressure down here to push condensate through our primary trap and everything works just fine. As the outside air warms up, of course our control valve is going to modulate down. So if we modulate our, our uh, control valve down, you can see here, and our pressure starts to drop off. You can see the pressure dropping off down here as well. So you can see that we're now condensing at pressures below atmospheric. We're actually at about 12 inches of vacuum. So we have 12 inches of vacuum here, zero PSI here. That doesn't allow us to evacuate condensate. So the condensate starts to back up. And we've now got condensate. We can't see it any longer in the glass piping. So it's either in this piping or up into our coil. If we've got condensate laying in our coil, that either leads to temperature control issues downstream or we can have water hammer, or we can have the potential for freezing, or long term, we'll corrode our coil. So the solution to the issue is a vacuum breaker. Now we've got a vacuum breaker installed right here. Uh, it's valved out right now. When I open this valve, you'll hear atmospheric pressure air entering that uh, vacuum breaker, and you can watch the gauge go from uh, vacuum pressure up to zero. So now we've got zero PSI in our coil. No matter if I, we can go to positive pressure or we can go all the way down to zero, but we can never get below zero. Now if we mount our trap 14 or to 18 inches below our coil, we can always make sure that we generate positive pressure. Proper installation of a vacuum breaker will ensure that we have positive drainage under all operating conditions. 